Recognize the gentleman from Georgia, Mr. Johnson, for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Bishai. Have you ever heard talk of this email that you, you were just asked about by your head of uh, multicultural marketing? Uh, not at that time, but uh, later, you know, when, when there was concerns expressed around it, I was made aware then. Mm -hmm. is, it, is it true that she sent that email, or could that be fake news? Uh, <laughs> my, my understanding is that there were emails which were sent, uh, like the congressman referred to. But is your testimony today that um, Google did not configure its features to get out the Latino vote in key states? We don't build partisan features or features with any goals around affecting elections in those ways. We mainly focus our efforts on helping people register to vote. And our, you know, we, we reach users across the United States. So anytime we do these efforts, uh, informing people where to vote, these are used uh, in a very distributed way widely across the entire country. All right, thank you, sir. And uh, Google's collection and use of consumers' data and its record of protecting consumers and their data are appropriate areas of congressional oversight. But sadly, this committee has um, neglected consumer protection as an area of oversight, choosing instead to squander their oversight responsibility and use its power so as to bully Google and other technology companies into minimizing negative news and comments about Republicans and most importantly, the Trump administration. Um, yesterday, Google disclosed that private profile data of over 52 million users may have been exposed. I understand that you're phasing out the Google Plus platform, but many Americans trust your email platform and countless other products uh, with their personal information. And you admit that you collect private data for use in advertising. How can we be assured, considering this new breach, that the personally identifiable information of consumers is safe with you? Uh, Congressman, it's an important question. Uh, this is why we undertake all these efforts. We do operate important products like Gmail. Uh, the reasons, you know, building software inevitably has bugs associated as part of the process. We actually undertake a lot of efforts to find bugs, and so we find it, we root it out, and we fix it, and that's how we constantly make our systems better. And you know, the biggest area of risk we normally, you know, we see for our users is around security, that uh, you know their account gets hacked or something. That's why we work hard. Gmail is an area where we have invested a lot. We have an advanced protection program. I would encourage members of the Congress to sign up for it if you're using Gmail. It, it allows a second layer of protection to your account, which makes it uh, you know much much harder to uh, get your account uh, you know. Uh, misappropriated in any way. All right, thank you. Uh, yesterday, the New York Times pub published an in-depth investigation of your location tracking applications uh, that still purportedly identified, or excuse me, personally identified data. Uh, Google has said that it doesn't sell data, but as a corporation deeply involved in the business of consumer data use in advertising, your company benefits from applications that track consumer locations. Differentiate what Google does with geolocational data from companies with applications that track and sell the data. Now, as a company, we do not sell user data. Uh, that would be against our uh, principles and how we... Uh, well, how you know, do you differentiate what you do with the geolocation data from companies that do sell the data, how do you, um, how do you uh, differentiate what you do with that data uh, versus uh, what these applications that do track and sell the data do? An important uh, source of differentiation, we, we do not and would never sell user data. Uh, we do give consumers preferences about how their data is used for advertising. Most of our user experience 
our, uh, we make our advertising relevant based on the keywords you type in. Uh, that's where we get uh, most of our information. We do, you can just type in, control your ad settings uh, into Google, and you can actually change ad, you know, the use of your personal data for advertising as well. We allow that well, as an option uh, for as our users. As my time expires, let me ask you, do you believe Google has done enough to be transparent in its data collecting policies? You know, we, we always think there is more to do. It's an area which is going to be an ongoing area of effort for us. But we have invested a lot over the years, and we do make it uh, very transparent, and we encourage users to go check it out. And in fact, every day, 20 million users go and check it. And over the last month, around 170 million users did uh, check it. But we are going to continue and invest more in this area. Thank you. Are you back? <clears throat> the chair recognizes the gentleman from 